Welcome to a new episode about simulating computer architectures. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the BPNF uh, format. Uh, this is a format that was used uh, in all computers to uh, write programs, uh, especially on uh, paper tape and uh, this will be then uh, used for uh, uh, writing EPROMs with uh, that program. So first let's see uh, how we can obtain uh, such a thing. Uh, I'm going to use uh, this simulation that we already covered in uh, previous videos. Uh, I'm going to load uh, hex here in the uh, simulated uh, paper tape reader. Now I'm going to use the um, R command of the monitor application uh, of this uh, Intellec 440 system. So I've just written here R0, maybe I'll make this a bit larger. Uh, now a program is being read in uh, hex format. Uh, I already made a video about the hex format, so you should probably watch that one as well. And now it's possible with this monitor application to use um, the B command, which will produce BPNF output. I will specify starting address 0 and address 20. This is in hexadecimal. And now the monitor application will convert the memory content between these addresses to BPNF. So what we saw uh, is that the output produced contains only BPN and F. Uh, actually, uh, if we look closely, uh, we have, and I will try to enlarge this. So, uh, we actually have uh, eight uh, symbols, PN. Uh, this corresponds to the eight bits of a byte. We also have a starting symbol, a B, and the finishing symbol, an F. So, uh, for each byte, uh, we have uh, actually 10 characters, B, a series of 8, P, or N, and an F. We also have a number of spaces and the next byte and so on. Uh, and uh, in this encoding, P uh, stands for an 1. Uh, you can think of it as a positive signal, maybe and uh, the N uh, stands for a zero, you may think of it as a negative signal and uh, usually uh, this uh, format would be uh, punched on paper tape I was able to find a paper tape simulator uh, and you can see here I've entered uh, B, uh, 8 N's and F then B, 8 P's and F, and then an alternating P, N, P, N, P, N, P, N uh, format. And this generated uh, an image, a PNG image, uh, of a uh, punched paper tape. So uh, you can actually see uh, B uh, looks like this, then we have all N's, they look like this, then we have F, then we have some spaces here, uh, another B, uh, all P's this time, so you can see the difference between an N and a P, uh, and the alternating pattern. So uh, compared to the hex format, uh, the BPNF format does not have a specification for addresses, does not have an uh, end record, does not have a checksum. Uh, but it only produces uh, memory content, uh, usually stored on uh, paper tape. I hope this was helpful and uh, now it's more clear what BPNF stands for. 
Yeah, if you have any comments, uh, don't forget to write them down. See you next time. Bye.